In this video, we'll take a look at and do a quick review of the updated CorelDRAW Power Trace in CorelDRAW 2020. And I was intrigued by this when I heard about the implementation of artificial intelligence in the Vector Power Trace. And we know that as screen printers, embroiderers, etc., custom apparel, sign industry, and so on, that we're so often converting bitmaps to vector objects or vector graphics so that we can work with them. And this update is really nice. I mean, it's faster, better, cleaner, and more accurate. and has some new features in it that we don't have in 18, but I want to compare it with 18 so we can see the difference. Before we get into the comparison, if you're looking to learn CorelDRAW, you're just getting started, advancedtshirts.com. Under free tutorials, we have CorelDRAW for beginners. And we also have, with all of these videos, we have the work along Corel Draw files to make it easier than ever for you to learn Corel Draw. This is seven hours of in depth training for those of you that are beginning with Corel Draw or are trying to get deeper into being more proficient with Corel Draw. So that's at advancedtshirts.com. Absolutely free. Seven hours of in depth training. Get started in Corel Draw 2018 Power Trace. Same image, same JPEG imported. This is a mascot graphic, and we'll just go to bitmap, then we'll go to outline trace, and we'll go to clip art. We won't change anything, we'll just let that run. One thing it's going to want to do that 2020 doesn't do is reduce your bitmap, and I believe that's because of the performance enhancements that Corel has built into 2020, because reducing the bitmap is automatically going to reduce the quality of vector tracing any bitmap image, but we don't have that problem in 2020 anymore. And you'll see that in just a minute, but I'll process that. It's going to reduce the image and then trace the vector. And you can see this is taking a little bit of time here. And we can see this is done now. And I'll zoom in here and we'll take a look. And we can see that we lost some detail here in the whisker and we've got some other things that are in here if we zoom in take a closer look now that's 2018 let's go to 2020 same jpeg that's selected from 2020 bitmaps we'll go to outline trace and then clip art again and i'll click on that you'll notice there's no approval pop-up to downsize my graphic and now it's moving right through there. And it seems to be moving quite a bit faster. You can see a major speed improvement there, much faster than 2018. And if we zoom in here, we can see much better accuracy, even where this whisker is concerned. Right there, the whisker of the cheetah and some of the other areas in the trace. Now we also have adjustments tab and we can remove JPEG artifacts and we can select up sampling mode as opposed to down sampling in 2018. And this is driven by artificial intelligence. And the quality of the trace is overall much better than that of 2018 here, as we can see. Much better trace, much better quality, much faster, huge improvement, huge update. So. Just wanted to show you some of the differences and how much faster that power trace is working in 2020 because of the speed enhancements. 2020 is a lot faster than the previous version so far in my experience and also quite stable. And we have these new features for adjustments in the power trace. And we also get faster, more accurate traces. Now, in screen printing, embroidery, etc., this is a huge upgrade because we know that very often we need to trace JPEG images. Now we have up sampling and JPEG artifact removal as opposed to down sampling, which we had in the previous versions of CorelDRAW. Just a quick overview of the new power trace in CorelDRAW 2020. I will get into a training session on this power trace sometime in the near future, but I just want to go over so you can take a look at some of the differences here, how much faster it is, etc., than the previous versions. We'll wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.